Hello guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing so, so well. Welcome for the first time, if this is the first time you've ever seen my channel before. I guess I should introduce myself. I am Victoria, this is In The Fro. This is my fashion, beauty, lifestyle, travel, YouTube channel. It's nice to meet you. Today is gonna be another one of my favorites videos, my October favorites and new in products. Like I did for September, this is just a bit of a mix up of the generic favorites kind of tag. I'm just gonna go through everything that I really, really loved for October and also tell you about a few products that are brand new in that I've not really used as much yet and therefore they aren't favorites, but they kind of blew me away when I saw them and I swatched them and when I saw them, I saw, oh my God, these are incredible. So it's kind of nice to kind of give you my absolute favorites as well as some things that I think might become favorites ahead of time. So let's get into it. As I did in my last video, I'm gonna sort of show you me applying a lot of these products as we go along because I kind of want to give you a real insight into how they work, how I use them. So I'm going to start off first of all with the skincare and guys please don't hate on me for this okay. I'm going to show you a brand I've never actually shown on my YouTube channel or my blog before but I've only recently been introduced to them myself in terms of using their products and I've been so blown away I really really wanted to mention them but when it comes to skincare, they are notoriously one of the most expensive skincare brands. Le Mer. I've been recommending them so many times by friends in the past, and I knew they were going to be great. So, this is what I've been doing. I've been mixing the Moisturising Soft Cream from Le Mer. This is 30ml. This is £110. So I've been mixing the Moisturising Soft Cream with a bit of the Renewal Oil. So generally this helps to soften the skin, it will help to reduce lines and wrinkles, it adds so much vitality and glow back into the skin, it really kind of helps renew sort of dull, sallow skin. So I think the idea with La Mer is that they have this miracle broth that's made up of lots of different sea sourced actives as they call it, so different ingredients that they have sourced from the sea to create a miracle broth which is kind of like their trade trademark special ingredient. It's a bit like Coca-Cola, how they never tell you what's inside it. So it's all about renewal, youthfulness, beautiful youthful skin. Now I'm pretty sure this is a 30ml bottle, I think it will be. So this is £160. But now I've been using it every morning for the past month and a half and it's only gone down this much. Literally use two, three drops a day. So this actually will last me some time. This is 110 and I am, oh gosh, I'm nearly at the bottom. Yeah, that doesn't last quite as long. They are so hydrating and moisturizing and when I mix them together, the oil mixes with the moisturizer and adds the most incredible glow into my skin. But these, just this, this kind of little duo I've been doing, my skin just goes like pow, so bright, so glowy, so dewy and ultra hydrated. My skin just feels so much better recently. Apart from this guy here, he's come out through stress, I think. But generally, absolutely incredible. But then over the top, I think this is actually a favorite of Kim Kardashian actually as well. It's a creme de la mer perfecting treatment, which is kind of like their big launch, I think recently. This is almost like a primer. So it's a gorgeous gel solution. And I've been using this again over the top of this face. Mixing it in over my apples and my cheeks, onto my forehead and also my chin, generally everywhere, but mainly focusing there. And honestly, I've been finding so much of a difference in my makeup. I can put on my makeup in a day with this, and then 10 o'clock at night, it's still perfect. So honestly, I have been really believing in this. I am a big supporter of this now. And again, this is about £120 to buy. So these are the top of the kind of skincare price scale. I'm sure there's some slightly above it, but these are generally one of the the top for potentially for maybe a really expensive Christmas present or something just to try out if you're able to go in and maybe get a little sample. I'll leave it at that. Okay, so next up is base. And last time I mentioned the Urban Decay Flawless Foundation, I think it's called, and also the Hourglass Vanish Foundation, which I'm still kind of playing around with. Absolutely love both of those. My feet are going completely numb right now. Okay, that's better. But there have been another two that I, it's been the four of them altogether I've been playing around with. First of all, the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint. I have this in Alaska. This is just, it's kind of like a tint of moisturizer, but I feel with a little bit more flawless coverage to it. I mean, it is a skin tint after all, and it does say velvet matte, but I honestly feel that this isn't as mattifying as you'd expect, which is probably why I really love it, because I don't really like matte foundations. But this, I still feel, maybe it's because of the Le Mer products underneath that I still get that ultra glow, but mixing this over the top kind of gives me the best of both worlds, I think. I get the glow from underneath, but I also get the kind of staying 
power of a matte foundation and the colour is just so perfect for me it's kind of my tan shade but not my ultra tan shade so I can use this generally most of the time honestly it's really fantastic it's just a little bit thicker than normal tinted moisturiser with great flawless coverage and a wonderful kind of glowing matte finish I'd say not dewy but kind of glowing matte but then I've also been playing around with the L'Oreal Nude Magic Cushion which I think I've kind of mentioned a few times recently but these really are so so good I'm pretty sure I have shade 3 here because when you take off the tags on them that's what has the shade number on them so that's the one flaw with this packaging it needs to say the shade number because it doesn't unless I'm just missing it but I think this is number three I've kind of gone through all the different shades and as I go up darker I'm like actually that's better for me but it's just a cushion formula which means it's really good for travel too because you can actually take it on the plane and I just literally pounce my beauty blender into this and then over the face and I've been sort of mixing these two together so I've been applying a bit of this and then a bit of this mixing the two because this just adds that dewiness and glow it's so wonderful for a dewy finish it's a little less than a flawless coverage it's kind of a medium light to medium coverage and then this one just gives a little bit more coverage so the two together are wonderful but on days when my skin's looking really great and I not many blemishes and it's looking quite even and I put this over it it just really helps to perfect so I find that if you have quite good skin and you're having a good skin day this is kind of like the best thing you can put on it because it's not too thick it's not too heavy but it'll just accentuate and just increase how beautiful your skin looks that day but oh my god so good together gosh I feel like I'm describing things in so much detail here it's taking me ages um okay so next up is an eyeshadow palette that I have been using non-stop I'm a little obsessed with this and I haven't mentioned it anywhere yet so I couldn't wait to mention this today actually. I've been wearing it in every single picture you've probably seen me in as well as my last video. It's the new Zoeva Caramel Melange palette. This is autumn in a palette for me. It's so fantastic. Every single colour here I could use more than happily. So on my eyes today I went in with the Universal Delight, just a super easy sort of brown, tan, quite light shade. And then I've either been going in with 182 degrees C, this one here, which is almost like a rose gold, or liquid centre. This is almost like a caramel rose and this is like a real rose copper gold. And it's so pigmented, they're like ultra foily shadows. They're so just wonderfully pigmented and I use these even without a wet brush. Dread to think what a wet brush could do with these, I think it would be absolutely insane. But the pigmentation of these is wonderful. As soon as you put them onto your brush, onto your eye, it just comes straight off onto your brush. Like the transfer is wonderful and the colours are so glowy and autumnal beautiful so I've been putting this on my eye or either one of those depending on the day and then I'll go back with with aftertaste which is this gorgeous kind of coral red alchemy and also start soft which are both kind of burnished brown reds and I've been taking the three of those and then working them further into the creases to really sort of deepen up the shades and and then I'll go in with a bit of wax paper the white and just put that in my inner corner so a full autumnal look from this one palette and there's so many other kind of looks you could create here I mean the purple with the gold with this darker brown is another one I'm sure I'll be going for very soon you know it's just gorgeous and it looks like a beautiful palette the one thing I wish it had was a mirror but other than that it's so brilliant I could not recommend this more I'm just going to mention now a new in product because I use this in my my routine just to kind of show you what it was how pretty is this new Tarte palette this is the Iron Cheek palette I think it's kind of yeah the rainforest of the sea palette how pretty so it has a mirror yay and it has six different eyeshadow shades and also a blush mystified so I use mystified today it's my kind of shade very sort of muted nude pink that's the kind of shade I like something that's just a bit darker than your natural skin tone that adds a bit more kind of nude pink that's my kind of thing and then there's six different there's two um, shimmers and also four matte shades in here but all very very wearable shades all nicely pigmented yeah so I think this is going to be a kind of a bestseller soon to be honest I mean most Tarte palettes are bestsellers but I just wanted to show you that as well and I used that with one of my new favourite brushes this is the Makeup Forever Professional 152 Wavy it says I'm not sure but it's just a very rounded top brush and I've been loving this for contouring so I put on my contour this morning with this using the iconic London palette and then I dipped into the Tarte palette for the blush and put that on as well it, this is just the perfect kind of fit for my face in terms of kind of underneath my cheeks and around everywhere and I just find it blends so beautifully without giving me any streaks or without making everything a bit too sort of big and over the top you know it just it's really great 
So then I went in with another product which is kind of in my new in product sound to recommend. This is from Tom Ford of course, I mean look how gorgeous this is. And it's their new palette. So this has a blush, a highlight and four different shades. Now this is one pricey palette. Yeah, I mean the pigmentation of these is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if you can see that, but they are stunning. So again, I went in with the brush and just took a bit of this kind of highlighty. Feels a little bit creamy, but it's generally more powder and it's a very light champagne pink. And it's beautiful. So I added that onto my cheekbones and everywhere else as well. So I just wanted to mention that because I think it's absolutely beautiful. And finally, to my face are some products that I haven't used as much yet, but I wanted to mention them because the shade range of these is really fantastic. I've been really loving every single one, really. They're all really beautiful. But the three main ones that I like, not even mention what these are, so the new MAC Lip Tensity Lipsticks. And these are my three favourite shades out of their whole shade range. So you've got Doe, which is what I use today, as you will see me applying it. I have here Medium Rare, which which is a beautiful muted pink. These are just the kind of my shades, what I would choose. And this one's more stone, this is called Driftwood and it's a stony touch of lilac in there but generally a stone shade. So I thought these would be quite popular anyway but for me they are my top three. But this is really, really nice. It's the first time I've tried it on, I thought it'd be really nice with the eye makeup. It just feels very smooth, not at all drying. My lips kind of feel quite nice and plumped and large. It's just a really lovely shade colour, so I'm quite fond on that, actually. I wanted to mention these as new from MAC as well. Okay, I really need to mention these products. I'm so in love with this range. The Galan kind of miniatures range. So adorable. These are seriously the travel companion of travel companions. I have these now in my travel bag whenever I go travelling and as you know I think I've done about 55 flights this year which is a little insane and the majority of those were long haul so I've learnt now what I need in my sort of little travel bag inside my handbag and I've managed to whittle it down to some incredible products and the main ones I really need to mention are these from Galan because these are kind of all I need now in my travel bag. They are so brilliant and they're adorable I mean look how cute so I start off taking off all my makeup generally I have Clarins little miniature Clarins with me then I'll put on some of this stop spot this is almost like a blemish corrector it's a bit of a green concealer shade so it looks a bit like a beige concealer with some green tones in it really so you can just add it on over top of your spots and it'll almost kind of conceal them out but this contains a number of ingredients that are great for drying out spots and reducing how red they are as well so I find that I kind of put these on on top of spots when I'm on the plane, when I first start my journey and by the end of the plane journey, they just look a little less angry and they've almost been kind of capsulated inside of this formula so they're not getting too dry and even more irritated in the aircon. So I'll put that on first. Then I'll go in with some Radiance in a flash. This is Instant Radiance and Tightening. I don't use this every single time but when my skin is looking quite dull I'll put this on. This is a golden sort of liquid pearlescent golden kind of liquid and you can see this it's really hard to show you yeah that does kind of I add that onto the skin and it just brightens it it also helps to kind of tighten it up a little bit as well and just add some radiance into there so I'll just add that on just to kind of give myself a little bit of a facelift for the start of the plane journey and then I'll go over the top with Sub Midnight Secret and this is literally the dreamiest product I've mentioned before the Galan Midnight Secret and they used to have a larger bottle which smelled like violet they've changed Changed the formulation now, made it into a much smaller little tiny tube and it now smells more lavender but the overall effects of this are exactly the same. It is my one and only plain moisturiser now mainly because, I mean look at the size, it's perfect but also it packs a punch, like the effects of this are so wonderful. It sinks into my skin so beautifully and my face is more hydrated when I come off the plane than it was when I went on the plane. This just really has so many wonderful active ingredients in there that are just working away on the skin whilst you are on your plane. What is this fly? The amount of times I've been on a plane and I've looked in the mirror in the bathrooms and my face almost looks like it's just like, rah, you know, like super dry and awful. And then I'll put some of this on and it just looks absolutely incredible. So these are honestly wonderful. And there's also a lip product as well, but that is next to my bed and I don't want to move right now. So yeah, but the lip, I think it's called Secret, Lip Secret 
Again, that's part of this range and it's so brilliant. So those are my secret weapon. Okay, I know this is getting on for super long now, but there's a few more things I wanna mention. This perfume, the Giorgio Armani C Le Parfum. This is the first perfume, it's nearly gone now. It's the first perfume I have finished in years and years and years because I get so many different perfumes to try out. I never really ever get to the end of them and I have ones that I really love and I use the most, but I never really find that I finish them. But because I have worn this every single day now, for the past month or so. I mean, I've interchanged with a few, like the YSL, like I mentioned, Mon Paris, which is absolutely stunning. This has been the other one that I've been wearing pretty much all the time. I took this on holiday to Boston, I took it to the Maldives, it was my one and only for those trips, and it is my favourite scent now. I absolutely love it. Well, I mean, Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb may still be up there, but this is probably a close second. The thing with this one, it's the Le Parfum, so it's the more orangey toned of the range. There's a few different ones. And this is a brand new one that has more amber notes in it. So the main thing you can smell with this is amber, which is why I so love it. It's kind of a very rich, sweet, amber, honey style smell. It's absolutely beautiful. Honestly, you need to try this. If you're ever walking through Selfridges or House of Fraser or somewhere that does a Giorgio Armani stand for perfume, have a look at the Le, Le Parfum. It's so beautiful, I can't tell you how much I love this. I've got two candle favourites. I bought these in Boston, I cannot wait to light them. I've had them before. This is my favourite Yankee Candle scent, the Christmas Cookie. Oh, it's just so wonderful, it's just like, literally as if you've just baked cupcakes or shortbread, and it's just wonderful. I mean, it's probably not to everyone's taste because it's so sweet, but I just really like sweet things. But this is gonna be on my desk. Absolutely love it. And I haven't had this one for years, and I remember it was an old favourite, sugar and spice, and it's got a bit of a kind of donut meat, pumpkin meat, sugariness. So incredible. I can't wait to have these lit. Also, with Yankee Candles, they have a few different sizes that you can get, and I have been assured that this size burn slightly less than the other ones, which means they last twice as long and also smell twice as strong. So when I was going to buy them, I was gonna buy the big ones. She's like, honestly, if you buy these, they last longer and they smell twice as strong than the larger ones. So I was like, okay, sold, I'll get these. So I might have this in the bathroom or I may just have it in the lounge because it's just going to fill the room and just smell insane. Another one to mention, um, as you know, I have braces and it's all going really well, by the way. I am in love with my dentist. He's so fantastic. I just love the way my teeth look now. I still probably have another six months to go as well, so I just can't wait to see how they look in the end. By the way, my dentist is the London Lingual Orthodontic Clinic. I'll leave a link down below if you're looking to get lingual braces. So my braces are on the back of my teeth. Anyway, I've been meaning to get myself an electric toothbrush for ages. And it turns out that Oral-B have a brand new one. So I was right on this. It's their kind of 9000 Genius one, I think. Um, I used this this morning, actually. But this is what it looks like. So it's just a full black range. Now, I don't use this to its full potential because this is so technical. You can kind of link it up with your mobile phone so that you can kind of keep an eye on how well you're brushing. And there are about 10 different brush heads depending on if what you want it to do. It's just, there's a lot going on with this. But honestly, it's so brilliant. I've never felt like my teeth have been cleaner than they have done after using this. So I know it's a bit of a random favorite, but I just really enjoy brushing my teeth right now. I think that's actually it for beauty. There's a few things I wanna mention for fashion just quite quick. The first I think would probably be this jumper. This is from N Peel and it's a gorgeous cashmere sweater. It's on the much more kind of higher end price scale for knitwear because it is cashmere and it is more of a kind of upper high street luxury brand. But I just want to mention it for any of you guys who really love your luxury knitwear, which I'm sure there are a lot of you and who also really love cashmere. But the overall knit of this and how soft and silky and beautiful this is, I wanted to mention it because I don't really like to take this off anymore. And whilst I could mention a lot of the different boots that you'll have seen in recent videos, I kind of want to mix it up a little bit and show you these boots. Seriously, how cool are these boots? These are Topshop. They are velvet, they are embellished, they are almost baroque print, floral embellishment, sequins, they're literally kind of 50 different trends rolled into one boot. And I think that's why I like them so much. With the big block heel as well, they're really comfortable to wear. They have a bit more of a square toe. They're just very, very lovely. And I wore these in a blog post recently and so many people went crazy for them. They're literally brand new out as well. So I managed to get them on the blog in pretty good time. And I think 
everyone was kind of like, oh my gosh, I need these boots. So I'm so glad I managed to get my hands on them <laughs> before they started running out. But yeah, these are a brilliant, more affordable boot. If you're looking for something a bit more kind of fancy and a bit more in the floral velvet kind of field for autumn, winter, I think these are a good go-to. And just as one last piece of fashion to kind of mention that I've really been enjoying is another piece from Topshop and it's this sweater. You may have seen me in a recent video again wearing this, but it's a really wonderful knit, very chunky. I think this is kind of like a pearl knit stitching. It's got a mixture of white and black threading to give a very kind of marbled effect all over. It's got a lovely turtleneck, nothing too big or structured, but just kind of enough to give you some shape. And it's quite a nice long length as well. Oh, and I also really like this kind of contrasting detailing to the cuffs, add just a little bit more detail. But it's just that very nice, easy jumper. I think it's about 40 pounds from Topshop. So it's the kind of thing you could wear all through winter and autumn and get loads of wear out there. And no, I certainly have so far. So yeah, Topshop shot at the moment it's really killing it actually in fact i'll leave the link down below for the blog post that i did where i featured like four or five different top shop pieces in a blog post outfit and i really love that outfit and i think a lot of you guys would probably really love the pieces in there as well so go have a peek at that anyway i'm gonna leave it there because this is probably the longest video i've done in a while but i really hope you enjoyed it and seeing some new products and some products i'm really loving and a few bits of fashion but i really enjoy doing this video so please do let me know if you are still enjoying them give the video a like if you did really enjoy it that always helps me out so I know to film some more and if you are brand new here I would love it if you came back and subscribed the subscribe button I will put up on the screen now I think it'll be around here just click that and come back for two videos a week Wednesday Sunday at 7 p.m. I'd love to have you anyway thank you so much for watching as always I will see you soon guys bye Mwah.